Good day, good people. Coming on to do this Libra reading. I am on the zodiac sign of Libra. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome to Bestet's Bowl of Bliss and Intuition. Today's reading brought to you by Libra, Libra Collective Energy. What is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to see, okay? Uh, now, when I meditated on the cards, because I shuffle the cards immensely before I even start a reading, but I also do a little bit of shuffling once I get on camera, just so you guys can know that the cards are not fixed or anything, okay? But as I was shuffling, I saw a, um, and I can't think of the name of it, those walking bridges, like when you're crossing um, over a bridge, like a walking bridge, and I saw it dangling. So I, <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. I just saw a dangling walking bridge, like it had came loose or came apart nobody fell it was no people on it or anything but it was just an image of a a walking bridge and i hope you guys know what i'm talking about when i say a walking bridge like it's connected from one side of trees or mountains or whatever you know and it walks across under it is you know the world the earth <laughs> Um, and then it's connected on to the other side. I don't know where these things are, but I've, I've seen them before, you know, videos or whatnot, but that's what, that was the image that came up. So the first thing I thought was, okay, Libra, like what have y'all let go of, or what do you no longer have access to? And maybe the universe has had to cut some stuff abruptly from you. So you want so you won't keep trying to cross it, okay? I don't know. That was just one of the first things that popped up in my head when I um, saw that image. So only the cards will tell us, but um, we're gonna see, okay? We're gonna we're gonna throw cards and we're gonna see what's going on with you, Libra. Now, before I get the cards down on the table, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share this video. If this video resonates with you, please comment and let me know, okay? Or definitely just smash that like button. This will be for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising, okay? So make sure you know your placements because just because it doesn't resonate with your Sun um, sign, it could be your Rising, okay? Or it could be your Moon, so... Without further ado, let's get it. Thank you, Spirit, for using me as I can do it. Ashe. Okay. Okay. Ten of Wands. Well, <laughs> I like it. I like it so far. Ten of Wands. Okay. You you definitely left something, okay? You definitely left something. Okay. King of Wands. Hmm. Mm-hmm, okay. So your second card out was King of Wands and your third card out was the Queen of Pentacles. I'm gonna pull three more. I'm gonna pull three more. Thank you for giving me three. Oh, did it give me three exact? And two, Temperance, Six of Pentacles. Okay, and one more card. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, that's too much. But one thing I can see is Leo was popping up in your reading, okay? Leo was popping up in your reading, so I'm not sure if this has something to do with a Leo in your life, but Leo is popping up in your reading twice. It has shown itself, so... Place that where it applies. Um, I don't think that it's your energy. I do believe that it is an energy um, that is around you. Okay. Now, first things first. <sighs> you have a major arcana here, which is the temperance card. Okay. The temperance card talks about balancing your light self and your dark self. Okay. Not moving too far to the right of that or not moving too far to the left of that, but staying very 
neutral, okay? Staying right in the middle of your vortex, as I like to call it. Um, and, when, and when I reference the word vortex, I mean just staying in your energy, staying in your vibration, staying in your frequency, okay? And not allowing people, places, or things, or patterns, habits, behaviors, remove you from that center knowing, okay? So if you ever hear me use the word vortex, that's that's what I'm speaking of. Um, so there, you're definitely um, being encouraged to stay neutral about something. Now, you have three pentacle cards here, which talks directly about your money, your ability to manifest materials, and your foundation, okay? So you have the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. What I'm sensing already is you're leaving or have left something that was possibly going to interrupt your Pentacles, okay? Um, I think you saw it for what it was, okay? And you decided to leave. Now, for a few of you, I think it was a job, okay? I think maybe you were putting in a lot of work. Um, you were not seeing any reciprocity. And you decided, I have mastered what I do. So I'm going to go and start my own thing. That's what I'm seeing for some of you, okay, Libra? Some of you are so advanced, at what you do for your job that it, you no longer need to stay there. You can take your expertise and your advanced knowledge and you can go and start your own thing. You don't have to um you don't have to stay and remain loyal to this company. Your reason or your season with that company is over. I think a few of you just um connecting it to me seeing that dangling bridge i think a few of you are more loyal to your jobs than the job is loyal to you and you know our guides can see way on down our path than we can so for a few of you that had th those ties had to be cut abruptly because you were getting you were getting up every morning and going and spilling your essence spilling your 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 gifts and your magic and your power literally spilling it okay or or should i say having it siphoned out of you okay by getting up and continuously going to that job every day okay something something has already been placed in your immediate energy field that was already giving you what I'm saying to you, okay? So this is literally a confirmation, okay? This is not new information for you. The Libra that I am speaking to, the collective of Libra that I'm speaking to has absolutely already felt the need to leave or has already left, okay? So this won't be a new feeling for you, okay? Now, I think your biggest complaint was that you were giving more than you were getting, okay? And I want to say that you probably has you probably have had a female come to you, okay? Um an older female perhaps, maybe even a cancer um female and it could be two now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it that may have already told you what I'm telling you maybe a mom and an aunt a grandma a older sister uh could even been somebody on the job somebody older possibly two somebodies two female energies I say or you could have even had a dream okay and a female energy came to you via dream that told you that it is time to go, that it is time for you to step away from this job. Because I believe that it is directly connected to your job. You are the type of individual that um, sometimes 
overextends yourself, okay? Or you become burdened by something, not because you can't do it, but because you do it so well that everybody just throws it on you. Like, okay, Libra will handle it. Come on, y'all, we can go over here and do this. So it's like you, 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 you don't even get the opportunity to bask in teamwork because Libra people, y'all like teamwork. So you don't mind leading it or teaching everybody how to do it as long as everybody's playing that their part. But you get overwhelmed when, and I'm going to tell you something, I'm hearing this come in, Libra. Uh, because y'all are so great at the things that you do, a lot of times you you talk, 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 and you brag, 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 brag about how well you do do something that everybody around you just says, oh, well, hell, they, you know, that let them, let them do it. You know, they, they like to tell everybody how well, you know, you know, how advanced they are at doing this thing. So, and, you know, and of course those would be the haters. OK, those would be somebody who thinks that they're setting you up for failure by putting you in a position to have to do something by yourself um, and you still get the job done. But this is not about you not getting the job done. This is about you feeling overwhelmed because it's always thrown on you. OK, it's always thrown on you and you're tired of that. OK, again, some of you are so advanced at what you do that you no longer need to do it for a company. You need to break away from that company and start your own company, okay? And right off the top of my head, um, I heard marketing, okay? Um, it was marketing in another word. Thank you, Spirit, for bringing that word back. It was like a public relations. Like, there's there there are a few of you that are really good with customer service, public relations, like retaining clients and shit like that if that's the type of work that you do i'm picking up on this reading being for you because you can start your own marketing firm or your own public relations firm or offering some type of consultations on your own like you don't have to keep working this job for these for this company that's not they're receiving but they're not giving like i don't think you've probably had you probably haven't even had a raise lately Okay, you haven't even had a raise lately, no promotion for you. Okay, and I'm I'm hearing that maybe around June you maybe thought that you were up for a promotion, but you but they didn't promote you. Okay, but you stayed anyway. You stayed anyway. Now this Leo energy that I'm picking up on, maybe your boss is a Leo, or maybe he portrays himself to be a very masculine asshole. Okay, so I could be talking to somebody who's whose boss you don't like them and they don't like you. Okay. And I think they probably try to ruffle your feathers, Libra. <laughs> and I say feathers because you are an air element. Okay. So I believe that this, <laughs> this person, okay. Whether it's your boss or your supervisor or the general manager or somebody on the job is an asshole. Okay. Um, possibly Leo asshole, okay? Because a a, a non-elevated Leo is a straight asshole. Now, when they're when an ele when a Leo is elevated and in their God body, in their God self, they are um magnificent, okay? And they are there to protect and assist. And, and will fight your battles for you, okay? But again, we're talking about an, a high-frequency Leo. This individual that you're battling is not a high-frequency Leo. They are a asshole Leo, which means um, I'm hearing like when you try to leave, they might try to talk shit, like to, 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 will tell you, you know, that... You're not gonna be nothing without them, or we made you like shit like that. This is a this is a this is a cocky um, asshole of a boss, and it could be female. We know that these readings are not gender specific, but I'm just picking up on masculine energy. So the boss could even be um, um, 
I don't know, maybe the boss is gay. Maybe the boss is a, not a transgender, but a man who, a woman who, um, what's the word? What's the politically correct word? I don't want to offend the, the gay community. So a very masculine woman. They're not calling them dykes no more, butchies. So I don't know the word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm literally trying to channel the word. Um, I know film is for the word. What is the other word? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, a non-feminine woman could be your boss, okay? And maybe she's coming off very, very rude and very masculine and very unsupportive of you leaving, okay? But fret not, do not let that stop you from moving forward. Um, that dangling walk bridge was the universe cutting that off in the in the ethers first, okay? Because I believe that you you physically probably are afraid to leave. Mentally, you're probably already gone. From a cerebral standpoint, you 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 hate getting up and going there every day. But physically, you still go through the motion. So what I'm saying is, it has already happened. For me to get that 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 a vision of a dangling um cross cross bridge walk crosswalk bridge to me that signifies that it's being un it's like you're being um cut loose from it in the heavens first and then you'll see results trickling down into your reality okay so as above so below it, it, things happen in the in the cosmos before they happen down here in the material realm okay so uh, you may have had dreams of leaving okay again i picked up on somebody may have had dreams of a female energy uh, that has come to you and probably told you, hey, it's time to leave that place. It's time to start your own thing. Like you've already had supportive energy around you. Now, I'm also picking up on a few of you are in a very high priestess energy uh, yourself. So you intuitively have already been preparing, okay? I believe that a sum of, that a few of you, some of you have already been putting money back. So I see your bank accounts being very, very, very um, healthy, okay? Because um, you've been putting back and putting back. Because I think you've been saving for a moment. You just didn't know what the moment was. So I'm, I'm hearing that this moment, okay, or the money that you've been saving up, should go toward you starting your own creative endeavor, okay? Um, and whatever this endeavor is, is something that you're already doing. You've already mastered it. You've already, um, it's your expertise. It's your gift. It's your superpower. And you've been doing it for other people, okay? Helping these companies and these people make money for it. Um, you Utilizing your, your gift, okay? They're making money off of you, okay? And you're being encouraged to, cut ties with that okay let that bridge dangle okay because you're not supposed to cross that bridge anymore you've already done enough on that bridge okay already done enough okay let's pull three more cards if this video is resonating with you please hit that thumbs up okay subscribe yes indeed so the seven of cups you have options okay you have options and the reason that I love this, because the next card, the seven of cups, okay, the next card will be the eight of cups. Guess what that is? You're leaving, okay? So here's the pattern. We already see it. You're, you're weighing your options. You're seeing what it is that you need to do, okay? I think you are verbally, mentally, um just you know talking this thing out in your to yourself okay dude what day like you're literally planning it okay you're looking at all of your options you're 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 assessing okay you are taking inventory i think for the for those of you who got the money in the bank i think you're breaking down the expenses on what it's going to take to do this like you're compartmentalizing i think that's the word i want to use you're putting everything in order filing it categorizing it because when you make your move okay when you make this this um quantum leap from <laughs> 
being your own boss versus being on the plantation, okay, um, you're going to have everything together, okay? And whether the Eight of Cups comes out or not, I'm already seeing what it's leading up to. The Eight of Cups doesn't have to come out because I know that because you have the Seven of Cups right here that the next step is you leaving, okay? The Eight of Cups is leaving something that no longer serves you, okay? Moving toward your promised land, moving toward something that's more fulfilling, for, for, yeah, more fulfilling. Moving something that has, um, moving toward something that gives you um, uh, emotional uh, satisfaction, okay? Because I believe that the job is no longer even giving you it's no longer given what needs to be gave, okay? I think you're just in robot phase where you just get up, go, get up, go. You're not even being challenged anymore to level up, okay? And that's not a good thing. You never want to work a job to the point where you're so comfortable that your brain is shit down and now you're just on autopilot. You always want to invest your time and in energy in things that are going to continuously level you up, level you up because there's no... There's no topping out when it comes to um, our gifts and our magic and our superpower. We can be advanced, okay, but there is still room for more, okay? Advancement doesn't stop. There's infinite levels to godhood, infinite levels to goddesshood. And when you're moving in your element, when you're moving in your power, you're moving in your gifts, your skills, your magic, that's you leveling up in your goddessness or your god uh, self, okay? So definitely talking to a Libra who, who's weighing the options, who's um, figuring out what their, not what your next move is going to be, but orchestrating it. That's the word. You're orchestrating your next moves. Okay. Back to this Leo energy. Uh, I do want you to be aware, okay, that they may, earlier I picked up on them saying something that could possibly be you know derogative but now i'm feeling like they may try to do something okay so just be mindful watch out for that energy whether it's a male or a female okay i just i'm picking up on it being a boss type energy or some type of authoritarian somebody who who presides over you okay could possibly begin could could be trying to do something to sabotage you leaving um may not want to i'm hearing letter of recommendation like we'll read like if you need one we'll try to refuse to give it to you or might word it in a way something i don't know i'm just hearing them doing something totally messy and totally um unsupportive of you leaving okay Hmm. And I don't know why they being like that. That's that's terrible that somebody wouldn't want you to level up because it means that they're going to miss out on using you. Because that's what this is about. This Libra, this is about a company that has been using you, okay? Literally. Like maybe you were not aware of how great thou are, okay? But they were. And they have literally been using you. Yep. Just, I'm not going to say draining you dry because I don't see that, but I absolutely see them not giving you the respect or the, the, the raises, the money, the promotion that you need. Like they've been keeping you in a certain position on purpose because it fulfills what they need. Okay. That's what I'm sensing. Okay. But 10 of wands, this 10 of wands, you're you're leaving. You are leaving that no doubt about it. Okay? Because you have I think that like I said earlier, you know that you've overextended. You're burdened now. This is no longer fun for you okay you no longer what it's doing okay I, I say i hear it what it's doing is whatever you do for your company we we've already established that you do it effortlessly it is it is an expertise it is a gift but it's almost like you don't even like doing that anymore because 
they have what well, I'm hearing I keep hearing the word drained but not drained in a way that you're just oh tired drained in a way that you know that they're not feeding you they're they're literally draining you dry and you have to refill yourself with your own I am's okay like they give you nothing to keep you motivated to keep coming back the next day <laughs> you're literally on empty you have no gas they're not giving you any gas you don't have it in you to gas yourself up anymore that's that's the type of situation that's going on here but you're you are gonna leave yeah you're gonna make the decision to leave <clears throat> I think, yep, <laughs> the world. I was, I mean, I'm sorry, the wheel. I was just getting ready to say that I think you see your opportunities like, like are, like things have been follow, falling into your lap here lately, but because of your loyalty to the job, I think you've maybe been, you may have been telling people, oh, well, you know, no, thank you. I work. So I, you know, or maybe people have reached out to you for you to do something for them that's pertaining to your expertise, but you will tell them, no, you know, I, um, I don't have enough time. Like whoever you are, you do too much for your job. Like you, you going in on your days off. They got you doing side projects. Like you are doing too much. They are using you. Your job is using you, Libra, okay? But because of this Wheel of Fortune and because of this Seven of Cups card, once you make the decision to leave, whatever you're going to is automatically prosperous, okay? It's almost like all you have to do is leave and walk directly into your new season like you're leaving this gray dark the life is sucked out of it you know just you just packing up your little shit and you saying you know what no i would much rather take my chances with starting something new okay starting something new than to stay in this familiar but uncomfortable, unappreciative environment that I've been in. It's desolate. What you've been in is desolate. It's almost like everybody there probably acts like zombies. I think they leech themselves on to you because you're probably the happy-go-lucky. You're That's what Libras are. Y'all are very happy, whimsical people, okay? You're, you're ruled by Venus. So you're, and you're probably the nicest dressed one at the office okay you probably have a very um not only what well, i've already said you're 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 happy go lucky you have a very bubbly personality but the reason i'm bringing all of this up is you're probably not moving in that anymore or not as much as you used to because everybody in your office okay or in the call center or in the building in the facility in the establishment wherever you know you place yourself you know place this in your in your life um they all have sucked on you throughout the years you've been there, okay? So now you don't have it to give. Again, I think when you pull up, you know, you don't really want to go in there, but you're in auto mode. So you go, you you go through the motions with the fake smile, the hey, the hi. You might even still participate in the little office parties and shit, but you're just going through the motions. You don't like being there anymore, Okay. Something has already revealed itself to you that this can be no more. Now, like I mentioned earlier, a few of you have already experienced this and you're already on top of the world, okay? You're already experiencing a new season, okay? You're already experiencing um, res results, okay, uh, from you making that move into um, a new endeavor. I'm saying that, I'm sorry, I'm seeing that for a few of you, it is you starting a job um, or starting your own company, um, utilizing skills and, and um, gifts and talents and stuff that you gained from your other job and just starting your own thing. Like I mentioned earlier, we're using the example of the public relations or the marketing, but a few of you are just going to a better job, okay? 
a job that's going to pay you more, a job that's going to offer you more money. Uh, it's like everything that you wanted the other job to do, this new job, you're coming straight in the door with it, okay? Some of you desired having your own office, or, okay, or a bigger office, okay? And with this new job, you're going to have that. Like, you get to name what it is that you want, okay? It's like when you go to that interview, they see your worth immediately and begin to ask you, what is it that you would like from us, Miss? Mr. Mrs. Libra, okay? So when they do do that, make sure you just, hey, state what you want, okay? Closed mouths don't get fed, Libra. And I think you know this because y'all talk a whole bunch, but sometimes you're too modest. So when you get in that position where, you know, they, you're, you're in that interview or you're in that orientation and they're asking you, what do you want from us? Make sure you tell them what it is that you desire and get it in writing. OK, get it and get it in writing. Now, for those of you who are just going to step out on faith and start your own business, um, make sure I'm just hearing the warning come in. Make sure that you're not so excited that you still put yourself in the same position you were in with that job, meaning you're taking on too much. You're overextending. You're trying to do too much too fast, too soon. Take your time, Libra, okay? This is a season, a phase that uh, you're just now moving into. So you have time. You don't have to, um, you don't have to try to rush like this you're on a whole new timeline okay when this wheel of fortune comes in that's you quantum leaping into your um your season okay it's time for you to do something new be something new and when something's new that means that you have time so you don't have to try to offer everything in the very beginning you don't have to try to rush and be and do the most in the beginning pace yourself take your time because what you don't want to do is end up feeling like you felt with that job again overextending feeling burdened feeling um like it's too much to do so now you may lose clients because you can't keep up with the demands because you have pretty much came through the door offering too much like just really really choose wisely what you're going to do and how you're going to do it now that you have made the decision to leave. But leave, nevertheless. I, I still say that you need to leave, okay? So if fear is holding you there, run for your life, okay? If the only reason you're still there is because you're trying to figure out, you know, again, the blueprint, that's fine. Um, but don't stay too long. I will say that because... Um, Sometimes those openings or those portals or those gates that allow us to quantum leap, sometimes you have to jump on that when it's available or you're stuck until another portal or another gate is opened for you, okay? So um, that's that. I am going to pull one more card before I close down this reading. I hope this reading has resonated with some of you, two of you, three of you, all of you, uh-huh, King of Swords and Four of Swords. So pretty much what I just said, um, take your time. Okay. Um, because what you endured with this, okay. Could have been, uh, just not receiving the, what's the word? Not receiving the support. No, no, not support. Um, just not being acknowledged and appreciated for all you've done for this company. Um, has drained you, has taken a toll on you, okay? So I think you're resting. I think you are taking time out right now, even if you're still at the job. You're, I think something, and I mentioned this earlier, you have tapped into something that has already revealed this whole message to you, okay? And I'm having, um, a, I'm getting like an epiphany right now that a lot of you, a lot of you uh, are receiving answers in your dreams you just don't know you know how to appropriate it you don't know that the dream is connected to you leaving um something or or, go, or moving towards something new okay so if you've been having dreams lately and you can't make them make sense um 
Just do your research. Like break that dream down word for word. Look up what each word means. Look at the colors, um, any numbers, any signs, any symbology. Like really break that dream down if you feel like that you've received a message and just can't, um, just don't understand it. But um, the King of Swords came out and it's on top of this King of Wands. So again, <laughs> whomever your leaderships are as far as you, like your boss, your supervisor, the DM, the 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 the, the um, regional manager. Somebody's going to give you some pushback, okay? And they may do it from a verbal standpoint, or they could try to plant some type of negative, you know, jibber jabber in your mouth. Whoever it is, they can't believe that you're leaving. So they're not sending out positive vibes, okay? They are literally trying to burn you and possibly try to ruin your reputation. I hate this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Yeah, this 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 boss of yours, he he or like I said, it could be a real real masculine um woman, but they are being very messy right now. And they hate the fact that you are wanting to cut ties. Okay, because they can no longer use you. They can no longer use you. So it could be two different energies, okay? It could be two different energies, okay? <sighs> Also, I am seeing you, I think you're overthinking it, okay? But I'm being t I'm being told to tell you, cut ties. Like, stop thinking. You're overthinking it, and you're going to back yourself back into this corner. And like I just mentioned a few minutes ago, sometimes we don't get the opportunity to jump out of stuff and land feet first onto something else uh, positive. A lot of times when people make these moves and they have to leave a job, they struggle, okay, or they fall flat on their face. But this is not the this is not the deal for you. You're gonna jump from this desolate place to a very prosperous new beginning. But you can't drag your feet, okay. So I'm being told to con to to convey to you to hurry up and make this move. But then once you jump, chill. Like, hurry up, we're leaving, but once you leave, calm down, take your time, and offer, you know, whatever you're going to offer if you're going to do your own thing, or slow down and take your time when you start that new job. Don't go through the door overdoing it, okay? Libra, I think that's what I'm going to title this message because that's what has gotten you in this situation. You come through the door doing too much because you are a whiz kid. You are very confident uh, at what you have to offer. And that's even in relationships. That's in anything you do. But what happens when you do that is you, you because the world is full of fuckery and people who like to use people for their energy, you keep running into jobs and people and places that take advantage of you being so willing to offer your expertise, okay? So just from now on, you have to inch it out at a time. You can't just give them the whole thing. You got to give a little bit, see how they appreciate that, and offer a little more, see how they appreciate that. It's a give and receive type of relationship that you want to have with your new endeavors, okay? If you've watched this video in its entirety, thank you so much. If you resonated with it, please hit that like uh, button, uh, subscribe, comment, share. If you're in need of a read, I am available on Instagram at the.goddess.spot. Just DM me. That is the quickest way to schedule a reading. Or you can email me at bastetsbliss at yahoo.com. Thank you and take care.